I've got a data dilemma. I want to sort a table of customer addresses by city or filter them by country or region. But the five parts of the customer address, street, city, and so forth, are combined into one column called full address. I'm sure there's an easy way to break up the full address column into five separate columns, one for each part of the address. I want it to look like this. Now I remember, I can use the convert text to columns wizard. I see that each full address uses commas to separate or delimit each part of the full address. The commas are important because the wizard will rely on them to break up the five parts of each address. I see that there's a status column to the right of the full address column. I want to make sure this isn't overwritten by accident. When the wizard breaks up a column, in this case column C, it overwrites one or more columns to the right. Here, that would be columns D through G. Before I run the wizard, I need to insert four columns between columns C and D, so the wizard doesn't overwrite the status column. Now that I've prepped my file, I'm ready to get started. To insert four columns between columns C and D, I select column D, and then on the Home tab in the Cells group, I click Insert four times. The new columns are way too wide. I want to narrow them so that they're the default width. I select the entire worksheet by clicking the Select All button in the upper left, and then I double-click the column heading boundary between columns B and C. Now I'm ready to run the Convert Text to Columns wizard. I just select column C, and then on the Data tab in the Data Tools group, I click Text to Columns. The wizard appears. In the first step, the wizard automatically detects that the data has delimiters in it. However, depending on the data, Excel can't always determine the type of delimiter to use, so it's best to always verify the original data type option and change it if necessary. I know for a fact this file uses commas as delimiters. Now I click Next. In the second step, I must tell the wizard which delimiter to use. The default is Tab. If you look in the Data Preview box, it still shows each address in one column, and the commas are still there. That's not what I want at all. Remember that I want to use commas as the delimiters, so I clear the Tab checkbox and select the Comma checkbox instead. Now look at the addresses in the Data Preview box. The wizard detected the commas and correctly broke up the full addresses into five columns. This looks great, but it's a good idea to examine all the addresses in the Data Preview box to make sure the data was converted correctly. I can use the scroll bar to see all the addresses. In the third and final step, I can select the data format for each column. The default format is general, which works well in most cases. However, for the postal code column, I see that there is a mixture of numbers and text in some values. To make sure the entire column is formatted as text, in the Data Preview box, I select the new column that contains the postal codes and then click the Text button under Column Data Format. The wizard is ready to go, so I click Finish. And there you have it. The full address column is broken up into five columns. One last thing, though. I need to update the header for column C so that it says Street Address and enter names for each of the four new columns. Now I can easily sort by city or filter by country or region. Breaking up may be hard to do, but not when it comes to Excel data.